Hello everybody, you're here with Claro Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for being here. And I guess we are in between the holidays, Christmas and the New Year. So is it considered still all a holiday? <laughs> so I hope you're having a good time or spending time with family or, you know, having time for yourself, whatever it is. I hope uh, it, this finds you well. So this is uh, my first video that I'm making after Christmas because I had line up or film right before it so I could have something for you. Uh, and today, because this video will be for tomorrow, so I guess you, you, my last video was about foundations. I hope you enjoy that. And following up that, I wanna tell you what I'm trying on today for the very first time. And I'll give you my thoughts about it. So um, I received this sample of Guerlain, and this is Le Essential. This foundation is one of favorites I hear in YouTube. So I really wanted to try it uh, to give you my thoughts since I just gave my favorite foundation. So there's the two that I promised in that video was the Chantecaille, which I already tried, and you saw a video on it, and the Guerlain Le Essential. So, my thoughts on this so far, and this is the first time I try it, and it is on my face right now. And so this had three colors, and the one that came as a light color was, I'll tell you what's the color, was 2N Claire Light. And 2N Claire, um, it is already a little bit up there on, on colors for my skin. If you see, my skin looks a little tiny bit darker than my neck. So it's not exactly my uh, skin color. So that, you know, might deter a little bit. If you hear, if you saw my video, I mentioned that color matching is a must, right? For you to feel comfortable with the foundation. Nevertheless, it, it looks all right. Um, it did, um, oxidize a tiny little bit after application because when I first applied it, it looked a little lighter and now I think it's looking a little warmer. Now this foundation is a little bit more than my usual everyday uh, casual uh, foundations that I prefer. So I would consider this more on the formal uh, sort of wear. You know, I, I divided it in in everyday, casual, social, and then formal and super formal. So this will be more in the formal or super formal. So this will be compared to, for example, La Mer, which is one of my favorites. And I will put, I will place this in that category. Now, um, uh, in application, it felt good in my skin. Uh, I think uh, it, it looks good. Um, if you notice, I don't think it did anything for my wrinkles. Um, and so I probably would not like that. And um, and I can still see some redness, some stuff from my own skin. So that could be a good thing because it's uh, uh, skin-like, uh, but I would, I would probably still prefer the La Mer. And you saw that I definitely recommend the Dior Air Flash. Uh, for a more formal sort of look. But this is nice. I mean, it's radiant. The skin looks healthy. It doesn't look dull, so I like that part. And it looks comfortable on the skin. It says it's long lasting for 16 hours and it does have SPF. So there's some good classes. So I understand why this is a favorite for amongst YouTubers. Um, I can totally see the reason. For me, um, I would stick, stay with La Mer, and especially since I don't wear this kind of uh, makeup that often. So I still have that one, and uh, but it's nice. All right, moving on. So I'm wearing that. Oh, by the way, on this side, I applied it just straight forward. And on this side, I applied it. This sample came with a little bit of um, prepare. They call it step one, prepare. And this is with Abel Royale Youth Watery Oil to make the skin appear instantly smoother, hydrated, and plumper. So this size has that oil first. I wanted to see if it really makes a difference. And this side doesn't. I immediately see 
the wrinkles on this side do look blurring. So I like it with the oil, but the oil might be irritating a little bit my skin and that's why it looks like that. So again, good foundation, probably not for me, but I, I like it, I like it. All right, so moving on, I also have, and you saw me trying in the last video, I've been trying the concealer from Rare Beauty and I am been putting the 18, um, 180W, which is 180 warm. And I've been loving that concealer. It's not like other concealers that I have that is moisturizing or illuminating or all of these things, um, but it is very straightforward. It really um, hides the purples, but it looks nice. It doesn't crease it, and I don't set it after. So I've been really liking their, um, their concealer. Now, the only little thing, um, and you need a very tiny bit of it. The only little complaint or hesitation I would have, it doesn't feel uh, moisturizing like some of the others, but it covers better and it looks better. It looks flawless. So I think I might like it, especially for days that I want to do a complete makeup that I do want a little bit of concealer that, you know, that really covers my, my purples. Cause the other one kind of correct, hide a little bit, you know, kind of mask it. And I'm fine with it for every day, but there's the days that I want to look more complete or more uplifted. Uh, and I really like this. So there you have it. Uh, what else I have? I have obviously the tone four contour, you know, that's my favorite. I usually wear it. Um, I talk about this many times and I'm applying this new, uh, to me blush from Pat McGrath, which is the, um, the Nymphis. So that's what I have on and that's about it. Oh no. And the lips. So because today I'm so excited. I finally got it today. The feature of this video is Victoria Beckham. Yeah. So yes, I think I exaggerated because I never had tried her eyeliners and I heard all YouTubers loving the eyeliners, the smoothness and, and the color and this and that, and especially the color cocoa, which is a brown, I guess is the most used wearable sort of color. And I should have got that and it was out of stock and then it came back, but then this whole set became 20% off on top of the of the great price for being all bulk. So yeah, I did it. I ordered the whole thing blind, blind because I never tried them before. So let's open it up. So I was gonna tell you what I have on my lips. It's Victoria Beckham. Uh, I'm wearing, I'll list it down below, but it is doo -doo -doo -doo, uh, Spark. Spark lipstick and lip liner number three. Um, so let's open it up. I already kind of peeked through, but I wanted to open it up with you. So here we go. Doo, 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 doo. And it has a little line, usually it's on this side. Look how lovely. And then, of course, all the seven eyeliners. And it comes with a little bag, which is very useful. They all fit, they barely fit, but you know, it's nice. The bag is nice. I'll show you. It has her initials. And then it's thick. It's kind of those sticks. I don't know if it's waterproof, but... Uh, and then let me show you how they fit. So the zipper, you know, so it won't fit like this. You do have to put in kind of playing with the zipper. But once you do, it's fine, right? Okay, so moving on. Um, I don't know how we're going to do this video and how I'm going to showcase all of them. Yesterday, I played a little bit with two of them because I just had to. I had to apply it to, to my eyes. You can see that patience is not my greatest gift. Anyhow, so what colors are in here? I hope that they have them listed somewhere. Um, yes. All right. So the way this comes, comes with one um, sharpener. We'll see it, how that one works. I know if you can, if you want to order their eyeliners, they give you the choice if you want the sharpener or not, and it's two dollars, you know, less if you don't. So I guess once you have one, you don't need to keep paying the two dollars for each of the other colors you choose. 
Now, like I said, one of the favorites out there is Coco, and that's the brown one. So, Cocoa. So let me swatch that for you. Let's get that one out of the way. And uh, so first of all, so you know, it comes with two sides. One is the kind of blurring, and the other one is obviously the eyeliner. And let's put it right here. So I already love this color in what sense that um, is brown but dark enough brown if you've seen my other videos you recognize that i appreciate that one of my favorite eyeliners is charlotte tilbury and it is sort of like that i'm trying to look for it here so i can show you the comparison it will be probably the only one that i compare with so far we'll see so i'll just put it right next to here okay so this one is one of my favorites and it is a little darker so you don't see the brown as as much. That's why I like it because it's almost like I, I want it up here like if it was black, but it's still brown. And I have described it in other videos where, and it's not a soft black or, you know, so it's not a black coming down in, in color, it's a brown reaching up. So you see darker. And then of course, now we have the Victoria Beckham. It's dark enough, so we will see how it looks in my eyes. Um, so that's Coco. And then we have, the next one will be Bronze. Um, so I'm very curious. This is the first time I open this. Let's swatch it right here. All right. So it does have a golden, a little like a, a dirty gold, I call it like a darker gold, it's a bronze, okay? But um, yeah, it's a true bronze, I like it so far. Now let's see what the next one is here, is Ash. I think Ash is one of the new that she came out for the holidays. Uh, let's put it right here. Now that one is gray, dark gray. Look at the difference between the dark brown and the dark gray. This might be very useful to me because again, it's one of those things that is close to black, but it's not black. And then uh, we're gonna try here, oh, the black. Let's see how it compares. So this is the black. Yeah, that one is black. And then we're going to go with Bordeaux, which this is more burgundy. Uh, yeah, wow, that's beautiful. This color, usually with green eyes, looks amazing. We'll see how it looks with my blue eyes. So this one is, this is, I think, one of the other new ones of, of the holiday, sea gray. Uh, da, 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 da. Sea gray, wow, that's a shiny nice. This is, I saw a lot of uh, Instagram pictures that it looks very beautiful. It's, it's a blue eye, but it is blue, very, very light. Uh, Ocean-like, uh, well, ocean-like has all kind of blues, but it, um, very, very transparent blue, it's beautiful. And then last, I have here, Noir. So this is, I don't know if this will be navy blue or just, let's see. Oh, that's gorgeous. That definitely will be very wearable for me because again, it's closer to reaching a black, but it has that bluish tone. I wonder how that one compares to my other new addition, the Sisley, which I really like. I'll, come, I'll make that comparison. Let's see here. Do I have it here? Yes. Since it's oh, right on the end, perfect timing. So that's navy from Sisley. Oh, not at all. Not at all, right? I mean, it has a bluish tone to it, but the look is totally different. I wonder if you blur that one with the thing. Let's do it a little bit. If you were go there, but I doubt it. Let's see. There you go. No, 
see different tones that's weird that this is and it is yeah it's a navy wow when you put it together this one doesn't look blue at all but hmm. let's see am i no it is the baby wow yeah when i see it here live i really see the navy but right next to this one it, it looks very different yeah and here we are from far right this two look very similar but remember when we first swatch it this one was browner that's very interesting all right so what are we going to do today now that we have <laughs> Um, I don't know why I chose this shirt, which is kind of in the purplish. Um, it was, you know, when I thought of Victoria Beckham, I thought of a burgundy black, you know, that kind of elegance. And I had some, but I just didn't feel like wearing it. <laughs> it would have gone better with any of these colors. Um, wow. All right. So the first one, as I showed to you, what I was drawn to the burgundy white, I don't know. Obviously, I mean, I probably want to try this one, right? Uh, but the burgundy call my attention, the bronze call my attention, the bronze will look good. Um, and then of course the cocoa, but the cocoa you see often. So I'm gonna go with the burgundy first, just to see how that one looks. And, um, so I'm just gonna put it on top. I'm not wearing any eyeshadows yet. I just wanted to showcase the eyeliner and see how it works. And then we can play with some eyeshadows. Well, it slides like ridiculously easy. You saw no tugging, no nothing. It's creamy. And look how beautiful. It slides so easy that even you have to be careful of where you put it because the moment you touch your skin, it it shows uh, color. It's almost like if you had one of those liquid eyeliner things that where you touch, it colors. So that could be a good thing. Now, it is applying a, a thicker line than I usually would prefer if you notice. So that could be, again, a good thing yeah, it's not a thin, thin line. Wow, beautiful. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the other side. And I'm learning here with you guys just to fade it a little bit. That is beautiful, right? Now, if you notice, this is interesting because it's, it's obviously pencil. It's creamy, very creamy. So creamy that when I close it, it stained the bottom. So it reminds me the application and uh, the performance to be careful as a liquid liner. Because you know, when you put a liquid liner, you have to be careful when you open your lid or when you blink. I think this is sort of the same until it sets, until it dries out. But I love this color so far. I usually, in other eyeliners, especially like Dior and Chanel, also come with this little sponge on the other side to, to blur it. I don't use it that much, I just feel it tugs. But in this case, because the eyeliner is so creamy, look, it really works. And if you see, it really blurred it nicely. Now I'm tempted to do down here. However, I want to try a different color in the bottom. So um, what color should I put in the bottom? Let's go with, I don't know if I should go with navy or um, go with the darker or lighter. Hmm. Well, I know what I want to do on the other side. So let's start with navy. What did I do with my navy? I'm gonna try the navy on the other side on the top because I want to, well, before that, hold on. 
So I want to try this um, sea, sea gray on the bottom on this side. I just want to see how it looks. So I'm going to I thought sea gray, yeah, I thought sea gray, this one was going to be silver like. And look, it looks very dark in there, right? That's interesting. Well, that's surprising. I thought it was going to go very light gray like that, like silver like. But look, it looks darker. So I guess the shiny grayish part happens when you blur it out because I can see towards the end. You see that? You see that little sparkle sparkle? Well, that's interesting. You see that? So I was going to do the navy on top and then this, but I thought this one was going to be very light gray, but it's not. So then let me do the top as well. Let's see. So I'm very surprised about this one because you see that silver, shiny, I love it. But when you apply it, it looks dark gray. So, and now on the other side, I'm just gonna blur this as if it was an eyeshadow. I guess that is why this color would have gone very nicely with her holiday um, iPod. She had like this kind of creamy sort of eyeshadows. I can see this going awesome with that kind of sparkly grays thing, right? Hmm, very interesting. So it seems like I'm going to have to have a learning curve with these products because I can see the potentiality. You know, she always likes these looks. Um, I have noticed when I see her, Victoria Beckham, I'm talking about, um, that she is almost like they look very natural, elegant, and kind of you kind of blurt and thing like that. And it just works. And now I can see the eye liner is drying so it's not it was easy to apply but then it starts drying and setting so very interesting to work with and and play with so let me clean a little bit up all right so if that's the case now i'm gonna use the navy and the navy i'm gonna apply it right under the lid right in between the eyelashes. All right, so as I blink, the blue that I was putting above stain the bottom. So I'm telling you, okay, so we're learning here. So the way this ones work, I very like liquid eyeliner. So you put them on, slide them on, very easy, very creamy, very nice, but then you have to treat it and being very careful as if it was liquid eyeliner. Now that's okay because since we were playing, I'm just gonna follow what that error did, right? I mean, I could clean up the inner, but I'm not going to because I actually like it. Now, this looks a lot bluer than the sea gray. The sea gray looks very light blue. Do you see that? which I think is becoming very gorgeous. So now let's keep playing here. So I'm gonna grab the gray again. Now I'm getting all excited. And I'm just gonna go with a heavier application in the bottom and on the top. Now you saw that I used the navy inside and now I'm using this light gray. I don't know about gray. This is a very interesting sort of color. 
Uh, so it's becoming a very smoky eye. Look at that. That looks very beautiful. So I'm trying to see if I have any creamy eyeshadow. I do, but I don't, I think I'm gonna just use this one. I'm gonna fill it up um, with the sea gray as a shadow for sure, but only on the lid. Wow. Surprise, surprise. And on the other side, now I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna use the bronze underneath. Underneath my lid. And now I'm gonna use the burgundy to fill up the lid above. All right, so I wanna show you what I'm doing because I sort of cut up a little bit because um, I don't want you to take all your time while I apply it. But so I showed you, I put the bronze underneath and outside and then the burgundy, I just kept applying and blending it with my finger. And the bronzing, I put all the way in here. You see that? Um, and even in the inner corner on top. So I kind of made all of this bronze. And what I'm learning is that this one, if you notice inside, it looks lighter and outside it looks darker, but it's the same color. I didn't use anything else. And in here, I only use the, the what's it called? The Bordeaux, Bordeaux. And so I'm lining and then I am kind of blurring with my finger. The same way I'm doing it over here. So I use the two colors. I use the navy, is it called navy? The navy nor in there, and then I apply it, pull it with my finger, and then the rest of it is the sea gray. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. So I am, see this is the, this is the Navy Noir. I'm putting it inside on top. And then I'm using the Navy Noir all over the other. That's the one I'm blurring. Look how beautiful. Wow. Well, so far I love it. It took a little learning curve. You saw, I learned here with you all. But I, I love it. I'm going to go and apply some mascara and I'll be right back. All right. So I am back. So I'll tell you what I did. What a change. <laughs> so I applied mascara, which is Thrive. You know, one of my favorites. Here it is. I applied some of Tom for eyebrow gel, which I always do. I apply a little more of the same list I was wearing, which is Sparks from Victoria Beckham. And then I did this and I put a little bit of that, a little bit on the blush. And that is it. I'm telling you, these are, I had to go to a little learning curve, like I mentioned, but I can see so much potential in how to wear these eyeliners. Because with two eyeliners on each eye, I created two different looks. Look at that. This is the burgundy and the bronze. And then look at this. This is the navy with the sea gray. Do you like it? Which side do you like better? I think this is very lovely. Let's put a little bit of, this is Westman Atelier um, lip gloss. which I really like, and it goes perfect with this 
lipstick. Now you could go with a little more nude lipstick, obviously, if you really wanted to, but um, I really like it. Tell me what you think. All right, so this is the time that I ask you to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet, and uh, please ring the bell on the right-hand corner, uh, upper right-hand corner, and please comment below, suggest requests. Uh, please keep the conversation going and tell me your thoughts about this look, about these eyeliners. I am very satisfied. It's a very different sort of product and I'm gonna keep playing with them. Uh, I didn't try the black and the brown. The brown is a favorite uh, yet because look what happened. So, <laughs> thank you very much for watching and I see you next time. Bye-bye.